Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. On today's date, February 27, 2016, our discussion is going to be on time. In Genesis, we know that God created the world, the universe, and everything within six days. On the seventh day, he rested. Joseph, one, one of the sons of Jacob, was 30 years old when he entered the service of the new king or the pharaoh. He went out from the presence of pharaoh and began traveling all across the land. This all happened after being sold into slavery and being falsely imprisoned. He made sure that there was enough grain collected during the seven years of plenty. He and his brothers were re shortly reunited after the seven years that the famine started. In Exodus, Moses went up to the mountain with the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. And in all that time, he neither ate nor drank. At that time, God wrote out the commandments on some stone tablets. This all happened after the Israelites had already left Egypt after 40 years of slavery and also these Israelites because of their sin were in the wilderness for 40 years. In Leviticus here the seventh year is the year of Jubilee a day of celebration letting crops rest and those who are slaves would be released. In Joshua at dawn of the seventh day they started out again but this time they went around the city seven times the first six in silence the seventh time they went ahead and blew their trumpets made loud noise and shouted and the Lord gave them victory over the city in the Gospels we know that Jesus rose from the dead on the third day we are to forgive our neighbor seventy times seven times now, what I'm getting from these different v verses, 7 and 3 are significant numbers of the Bible. The 3 represent this trinity. God's timing isn't our timing. God wants us to spend time with Him. He does things in His time and not ours. Our earthly amount of time is nothing like God's time. So I ask that you spend your time wisely today and spend your time with God. Have a blessed day. God bless.